What's up guys? It's been a been a minute, been a hot minute. But this video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about balding and how I grew my hair back, how I lost it, what happened. It was, it was a very scary year for me, okay? First of all, I wanna show you what it looked like before, so. Yeah, it was uh, pretty bad. That was uh, about a year ago, or maybe about six months ago, sorry, six months ago. And uh, this is my hair now. So, obviously, most will grow. So, I'm gonna talk to you about what happened, okay? <sighs> a couple different factors that played into why I went bald like that. Um, I was also, I was very stressed at the time. Uh, I was going through some breakup. Uh, I was moving, you know, uh, work was hard to find. Coronavirus was is a thing ongoing. So there's just a lot of stressful things going on, a lot of changes happening in my life, and that just caused my hair to kind of fall out. Because um, when I get stressed a lot, I like scratch and just like pull my hair out, bro. It's just not good. Um, so that's one factor, stress. Two, obviously testosterone is going to make your hairline recede. Um, it's definitely receded a bit since I've started, but actually not too bad, so, you know, it's also genetic. My father went bald at like in his 20s and I'm 22 now, so it's gonna happen one day, but Tupac is looking sexy, man, or was. was. I will be bald one day, but I'm trying to keep it on my head as long as I can. So you have to understand and accept that the testosterone is gonna make you bald, obviously, but um, you can sometimes do some things to slow the process and keep your hair as healthy as possible. So that's basically what I did, is I started to just really take care of my hair. So first thing is the type of hair I have, it doesn't really get greasy, it just gets dry. So the more you're washing it, you're gonna get more dandruff, it's gonna be too dry, and then it doesn't have the natural oils to grow full and proper. So that was a problem, I was washing my hair almost every day, and it, it was not good. And I was also using like crappy shampoos, like Pantene, no offense Pantene, head and shoulders. Don't, don't, just don't. I went out and bought some better shampoo. Uh, yeah, that's it. It was like $20 shampoo, man. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I got some good shampoo for my type of hair. I got some conditioner with coconut oil in it, okay? I swear coconut oil has been my savior for this balding thing. And coconut milk. That's the two things I use. And that's it. You're probably like, what about Rogaine? Rogaine actually made me more bald. Um, I'm not talking down on the product at all. Maybe I just wasn't using it right, but um, what it did to my scalp was it made it really, really itchy, super dry, which is normal for the first few months of the treatment, but it was like unbearable and a lot of my hair was falling out even more. I noticed when I was using the Rogaine, it felt really dry all day. It was just like, yeah, I used it for a little over a month and then I quit. As soon as I quit the Rogaine, I noticed my hair growing back like that, like right away, which is weird but it started growing back. So basically what my routine is now to keep the hair on my head is I only wash it with uh, the conditioner and the shampoo once or maybe twice a week. That's all you're supposed to do with my kind of hair, okay? And if you have greasy ass hair, wash it more, but mine, you know, it needs to stay moisturized. So the more that I dry it out like that, it ain't gonna be moisturized. So I wash it once a week and then Every single day, twice a day, I get damp and I put uh, the coconut milk or coconut oil, spray that and get that in there. Do that every day. And also I comb it every day, no knots, no tangles, okay? You don't want that. I know my head looks like a, like a bush of pubes, but it's not tangled, okay? So. so basically my best advice, if you're going through something where your hair is starting to fall out and such, just Take the steps to make sure you're taking care of it the best you can before you look into maybe doing a treatment or something else like that. Because once you do start Rogaine or treatment, if it does work for you, you have to continue to use it for the rest of your life. It is kind of expensive, at least for me. For me, it was just like an unnecessary thing I wasn't wanting to have to pay for. So, anyways, guys, that is my story on my hair. I don't know if cares or who cares, but I remember when. I was like first balding and I was just like so scared and I wanted to like find videos on it. I was like, ah. just like having flashbacks of the bald days. But anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, drop some video ideas for me. That'd be great because I have a lot more free time now. 
and hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.